Do I have the time to return and see those dear to me? Constantine, how are you feeling? Death is on my doorstep, and all hope has flown through the window. Come closer. What ill tidings do you bring? Yes, I thought you might want to know more concerning the uh, events that have taken place. The attempted coup d'etat of the traitors. Yes, I am eager to hear what has transpired within these very walls. When I think of the cold-blooded face of that treacherous Kurt, you showed exemplary true courage. Not only have you looked out for me, like always, but you have protected my advisors. And saved our city and our mother cardinal. An immense service that we shall never forget. She has asked me to relay to you her most profound gratitude. <sighs> to me? How very nice of her. I imagine that you know that Hikmet had less luck. She flies the banners of the Coin Guard as we speak. Most of the scholars were massacred, but their governor has sought refuge here. This treacherous commander must be celebrating at least his partial success. But his victory will be for a short time. He must be stupid to have thought that the nations of the continents will let him trade with them and won't cut him off. I wish him luck in finding a port that will welcome him. And you were able to catch his lieutenants. The squires will pay for the crimes of their masters. As happens too often. It is hard to swallow that Kurt betrayed us. We've known him for such a long time. To think that he'd train both of us, drumming into us, fight with honor. How tragically ironic. You were able to turn that to our advantage. That little phrase is what saved our lives. As to why he betrayed us, he has taken that with him to the tomb. Fortunately, the entire guard did not follow his example. Many have remained loyal. What do you plan on doing to them? How can we give them our complete trust? We cannot. But we cannot do without soldiers, either. We shall have them pledge allegiance to the Congregation of Merchants. And I shall name a trustworthy intendant to keep them in line. Nothing more can be done. Before you leave, I must ask you something. All right. I'm listening. I'm always suffering, cousin. I'm in such terrible pain and we're yet to discover a cure. I'm sorry. I fully intend to continue my research. We have a number of leads, but with all that's been happening... Don't blame yourself. I know how much you do for me. Yet, I'm afraid that before the sickness claims me, the pain will have driven me mad. <sighs> if only there was a way to ease my suffering. I know of a healer with powers that are legendary amongst the clans. It is rumored he can alleviate even the most terrible pains. His village is west of the city. I could take you there. One of our holy men lives in San Mateus. His healing powers are supposedly miraculous. Alas, it is a miracle we are in need of, my son. I'm nothing more than a sailor. I don't have much to offer when it comes to healing. As it would seem to lay a prey for the Malachor, just like the Bridge Alliance. Perhaps it would be best to ask for aid from those not suffering from the plague. Thank you, as always, for your advice. Cousin, you are the only one I trust, so please, don't let me lose my mind. I'll follow the leads and find a way. I won't let you down. Hold on. I'll be back as soon as I can.
Maybe in what you protect me in this battle. For the Dara Grimaterum Dam. May the shadow engulf our enemies.
I need a bit of practice. Maybe in life you protect me in this battle. You are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Delighted to see you again, Sister Ephesia. Father Petrus, is that really you? Merely a courtesy call. How might I help you? How has your mission fared up until now, Sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. Their chief and their priest are evasive when questioned. Their behavior can be quite odd, but as soon as I come close, they chase me away. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps, although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Tumad, on all Menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, Mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. It's probably because you are an on all Menawi that you are different from the other Renaikse. What do you seek? Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect, and that which surrounds us feeds and protects. What can you tell me about your rituals? Ah, I oh, have heard this question before. The rituals are the business of the Donegada. Anything more? Concerning this story about a cult, Enough! Enough questions! I have nothing more to say.
Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burt tir du mad renaikse. Oi and the donegad. Yes. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But it is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you. That is not what I... Kwa Awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty. Can't you leave us alone, Monisanaik? Leave me be. Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace! Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Birtir to Madre Naikse. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, qu Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I... If it's the only way to get answers, then... I am pleased. We will have fun. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gekane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. This is a delicate question, but would you know anything about a demon? A demon? I think that that is what the bright and shiny mind shakers call the spirits, no? There are spirits everywhere. In you, and in us, in each tree, in each spring. There is not only one. I cannot tell you more if you are not more precise in what you seek. Let's try something else. Are you on Olmenawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I'm not bound, or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. What can you tell me about the rituals? Oh, I see what interests you. You want to know how our warriors are so strong, but I don't have an answer. It is a secret of the Donegad. The rituals I know are made to celebrate nature, to honor and bring her blessings upon us. It was fun. More than with a woman who makes light, she did not want to play. Here to Mad and Al Manawi. What do you want? Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. Said that nature was just nature. These men know nothing. We ignored them. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods. You're different from the others. What is your role in the village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. You others, when we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us, in the rain that quenches us, in the beasts that feed us. I do not know what more I can say to you. 
Everyone shares these beliefs. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. This question will seem strange to you, but... Do you know anything about a demon? A... demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. I must leave now. Thank you for... Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but I admit they don't seem keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the luminous faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet, there's something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He... I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Mm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by searching his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. We could break one of his pots, that would keep him busy. Or we could ask for help. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to work fast and it will only work once. Go away, Renoixe. You are not welcome in my... say Just a mask they wear in battle to intimidate their enemies, nothing more. This altar is incredibly morbid. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This is exactly the kind of proof we've been looking for. An evil cult, far from some naive veneration of nature and other island spirits. The man that worships a magic lamp speaks of being naive. Oh, how it is charming. Siora, I am sorry. What I really wanted to say was that... Leave it, old man. I know exactly what it is you wanted to say. This painting is frightening. Evoking war. A massacre. A bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. All these gruesome and bloody horrors leave no room for doubt. There is a demonic cult here. We should go tell Sister Aphesia. Did you learn anything? No. Nothing more. I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, 
a rather morbid altar. By the enlightened. To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village. And I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes. But you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully he won't lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help. And good luck. Wait until nightfall and follow him. Here we could hide and wait. We would be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. My child, it's time to wake up. Our nervous friend is here. What's happening? You are so pale. Did the lightning struck tree speak to you? In a way. I, I saw many images. They were so real. As if I was the tree itself. Do tell. This vision is surely the key to the portal. I was this tree. And my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that... They hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. 
A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel, and the rain began to fall on my roots. And at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin. Then the vision dissipated. Tadolan Vrandi, Alaun Eles again Ole Vei. Klosi Garamam e Telami Olflinau Ich Egrem. Klosi Gedem Dayentis Ola Rabini a Ol Slai. Vanqua Sakengedem Fradem Adigalem. Linquid Winterbus or Galamsani. Togombenis Gremos Nigawi. Renkasi e Krimadurem de Negao Edent. Los Duis, a Ruyecht Ness Diri! Lois de Raman a des Gideon, a Renta. Esparnu Fradi, Damagengadan, Yadiga la Dandian. Esparnu Fradi, Dawid Gaishidon. Ag Esparnu Fradi, Dawid Gremos and What a strange ritual. I have never seen anything like it. The rituals of my village are not quite as scary. In any case, Teleme's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Denegad who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Deirdre. What do you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. The ritual. I've never seen anything like it. As you can see, my companion is not a Renaigse like the others. He please share your knowledge with us. Very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you have witnessed is just one of many. 
Confronting the threat that the Ranoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion, but if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come, though what you will hear may not be to your liking.